All right, guys, so we got our first bracket set up here. Uh, it's an aluminum bracket and it's just bolted uh, to the, uh, the extension pieces that I had made uh, earlier I talked about in the video. And now we're gonna, we're gonna stick the light on to this piece. I think I'm gonna use some windshield adhesive. Uh, I had read good things about them. They're a little bit flexible, but they're pretty solid. So we'll see how that goes. And obviously they're, they're water resistant. So we got our first um, camping slash rock light wired up. I got some heat shrink in it. I got some male connectors and we're gonna hook this light up on the side and then make the uh, harness to go across the uh, back over here. So my uh, windshield adhesive kind of failed. I ran out, well, it didn't fail, but I ran out of it and the the bottom or the uh, tube that I had, I left it open a little bit, so it got um, it was, it kind of got it set already, and I wasn't able to utilize it. So for now, I'm just using some zip ties uh, to get this mounted. I'll have to come back later and fix it. So now I'm going to start working on the harness that goes from here to the other side. And if you remember, we're going to run it all the way down. Uh, to the front of the windshield and then back over to the uh, Switch Pro. So I just um, made the wire harness, at least one side of it. It's on the other side, but because of this case, I can't just easily swap it through it. So I'm using my hand dandy uh, hanger again to pull the wire through. So we're all patched up here. Uh, lights in, we uh, did the male into the female connection and um, we're all heat shrunk up now, so now I'm gonna pull this back that way and get this nice and tight and zip tie the wire this way. So we got the uh, wiring harness coming in this, uh, on the inside of this back rail of the roof rack. And I zip tied it down, it's coming uh, across here and then to this side. Now on that side, I put the, um, the camping light towards the rear. But on this side, because I have the awning here, I, I'm gonna put this side's uh, camping light right somewhere in the center, basically. Just to give a little illumination if you're sitting under the awning. One thing I forgot to mention, guys, is originally I was gonna put two, two lights here, um, but because these things were so bright, I just went with one on each side now. So we're mounted up over here. Uh, this is the passenger side. I, I did have some more uh, windshield uh, adhesive, so I tried that here. It's still, it's been about 30 minutes and it's still movable. So if that doesn't work, I'm gonna probably do the zip tie again until I figure out a better way to mount that. And up here now, uh, I ran the wiring harness all the way around came up this way now here I did the merger of the uh, two lights into one and from here now we're gonna we're gonna start connecting this other wire down uh, the windshield and then over to the switch pro so now our connections all uh, wired up here and we are connected and we're heat shrunk so hopefully no water gets in there now we're gonna continue down uh, I'm gonna use the KC I forgot exactly what it's called, the KC uh, wire hider. Basically that thing I put there, you can uh, tuck the wire into the side of it. and just gives it a little bit of a cleaner look. This was the thing I was trying to remember. It's KC universal wire hider. And it goes on the windshield and basically hides the, uh, the wire going from the roof down to the engine bay. So we have our wire holder in right now. And basically uh, on the back of it, you just stick this double-sided adhesive, uh, double -sided adhesive tape from 3M. It's very sticky and I would suggest using a utility knife to separate the red from the actual adhesive tape. So now we're gonna continue our wiring job down and then go over. So we're all wired up, we have the um, camping lights coming down through the KC wire uh, hider, coming into the 
engine bay, then running along our main route for the harness again. You can see I zip tied the hell out of all these wires there. And normally I run them behind uh, the normally I run them behind the brake booster and down and then up. However, because I'm actually running, it's getting very tight here. I'm gonna actually, I, I branched it off over here and I'm gonna bring it up underneath this way. Um, and if, I don't know if you've seen the other videos, but with the chase light, I'm also wiring that up right now. It's ran all the way up along the bottom of the truck up through here. So I'm gonna bring those two this way and then up into our uh, Switch Pro. So we're all wired up over here. This switch right here is the chase lights and this next one is the camping lights slash rock lights. So right now we still have uh, daylight out here so when it gets dark then I'll I'll take some footage just to show you guys how everything looks. I'm gonna go ahead and button up and put my cover back on this thing now. So everything's done now. I'm gonna first trip on the uh, um, the chase lights. So you can see here I swapped out to the amber lenses now. They're nice and high, and just uh, the way you do want chase lights, so. Those are done, they're working good. And I still have to just get, put the correct stickers here for them. And then here are the rock, or the rock lights that we're using as camping lights. The only thing with these is, um, I have to figure out how to do the dimmable option from the Switch Pro, because that's way too bright for camping. But they're functioning at least. So thanks for watching guys. Take care.